Hello, Geminis. Welcome to your second half of January of 2024 spiritual advice reading. <clears throat> I'm going to start this reading off with the Kipper deck. So we have a time of change. The number nine. <clears throat> Old paths coming to a completion and transitioning into the direction of greater accomplishments. Unexpected income is coming to mind and it's showing up that card for many in the thoughts position in the second half of January of 2024. So we have a main female. So this is you or someone else that you're thinking of where there is unexpected income coming to mind, packing up and changing your life. Yes, there were messages of concern, but I feel like uh, the unexpected income that's showing up here is helping for uh, this main female here, you or another, to come out of this energy of concern. Beautiful. Because for many, there were concerns involving home, a new home, new location, a change in the area of home or family in general. So there's the coffin card. That means one path is ending. It's a time of change to go into the direction of a new chapter in your life where unexpected income finally shows up and frees you from this worry and concern. Moving forward as or with a main female into the direction of a new home or a change in the area of home and family. <clears throat> So it could be that uh, as soon as the 20th of January, for some it could take till the end of the month, uh, this good news it will create change and an opportunity to go into the direction of a new home. <clears throat> so subconsciously there's just thoughts about legal paperwork, uh, some form of paperwork in relation to this female or this is you, uh, but spirit saying there's a message coming, a message of an unexpected income that's going to uh, bring an old path to an end and create change in the area of home or family in the second half of January of 2024, Gemini. So in the subconscious position, we have the expectation card. I'm expecting a message that is tied to legal paperwork. I'm expecting change when it comes to a home. But what I wasn't expecting is this income to finally show up uh, regarding a feminine energy or some form of concern. So change is happening, uh, old paths are ending, new paths are developing, and again, Spirit's saying, we're just giving you the strength to expect a positive message to come, right? It's all about positivity and negativity. I expect a message of abundance to come so I can create this change in my life. I'm not going to fear or worry about how or when it's going to come. In a three-card summary, we have the community, courthouse, false person. So community, someone may be just fearing uh, that someone else isn't working with them when it comes to this change uh, of address for some. I got lover's energy. This could be regarding Gemini's and the family room. <clears throat> working hard and feeling like you don't have enough money or situation hasn't turned out as in the way or when you wanted it to. But now we have an official person showing up in relation to, again, courthouse, maybe uh, going to the courthouse, creating a change um, here in the second half of January. So we have a main female, a main male, uh, and high honors. Beautiful. So a message of high honors or acknowledgement from others is showing up for you because you can finally go into the direction of change. So there's some form of mature masculine, someone in a leadership position tied to a business or organization that is going to bring this good news and it's going to feel like uh, this energy of great fortune. I'm Me and another or others can move now into the direction of success and harmony. Yes. Okay. So false person. There's just a little bit of worry, like the path has opened up, it's time to step into and onto that path, and then there's like fear of moving forward with someone in that direction. Uh, it's like when these beautiful things happen for humans, they start to turn to the people around them and wonder if they want to go forward with them or not, or that's what's going to be kind of happening. So you know, good news can also affect the ego, so we have to make sure that we um, keep our heart open during all these wonderful things and not... Uh, shun anyone. 
Yes. You've worked hard to get here, just like many of the other signs. And here things are showing up in this number eight year of 2024. So the number eight year is all about expansion. It's about greater financial wealth. It's about taking leadership uh, over your journey and feeling more powerful, recognizing that your efforts have paid off and that fortune has turned in your favor. So I'm going to confirm and clarify these messages with the Gilded Tarot deck by Cheryl Marchetti. Attention and recognition, just like Spirit's saying, attention and recognition, knowledge and wisdom. Some of you may have already heard about this around the 9th of January. Others, you're hearing about this in the second half or by the end of January of 2024. So Gemini's, good news when it comes to money, unexpected income, attention, recognition. It's time to travel. It's a time of change. It is time to lay down all of that hard work. Uh, that you were dealing with or uh, regarding some male uh, feminine energy. So there could be a feminine energy at the center of all of this and you're just waiting on this person uh, to create a change that involves legal paperwork. But we have, uh, look at the collective Geminis going away, like I felt, from the message of concern and that was regarding home. Uh, into the direction of freedom. I can now leave troubled waters behind, worries, fears, concerns, and so on. I can uh, leave behind the Four of Pentacles energies, fearing that something wasn't going to work out when it came to money and home. For justice is turning in my favor. So as a major arcana, Here's this time of change. Spirit's offering up a lot of balanced energy for the collective Gemini, saying take off that blindfold, look at all the beautiful things that have turned in your favor, especially if it does involve legal paperwork, signing on the dotted line, buying a house. Uh, justice is turning in your favor, so really take a good look at the blessings that are unfolding before you. See, because eventually what you're waiting for, in some cases, legal paperwork, with the Eight of Cups, you will eventually then be able to walk away from these concerns. Leave concerns and worries behind because what you've been working towards has brought in the message you've been waiting for. <clears throat> so this message I know is good news because it's being served up with the Knight of Cups. So we have exciting, playful uh, energy going into the direction of her. It's like, I expected this. I knew this was going to happen where some maybe were not so positive. So Spirit's saying, here's what's coming. A new path of success. A path where you can finally cut away from uh, worries and concerns about money or home. Now's the time to move forward. Give thanks to Spirit for the unexpected income because Spirit has helped for this communication to transpire in a perfect and divinely timed way. So Spirit is saying, expect success. That's what we're giving you the strength to do here in the second half of January of 2024. So in a three-card summary, we have the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Strength card. <clears throat> so good news coming in as you're trying to figure things out. Communication from a business or organization the awareness that an old path has ended with the death card and that the wheel of fortune has indeed turned into your favor. Now you can lay down, especially if you've, uh, if this is air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, that which weighed heavy upon you because of this unexpected income or wealth. <clears throat> See, there was worry regarding money, whether or not you'd have enough with the five of pentacles uh, for some Geminis. Um, hmm. Okay, interesting. I just I just went off in a bunch of different directions. This is I feel like Gemini is almost dealing with another Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, because um, we have Libra here in the emotional aspects position. I think communicating excitement about change to someone who may have Libra in their chart, Gemini in their chart. Yeah, there's just this real feel good energy by the end of January for Gemini's that you are feeling stable and abundant and you're creating beautiful surroundings and your harder work and efforts have finally paid off. Yeah, now there's this passion and excitement and indecision about going forward with someone or about something. 
but here you go. Spirit's giving the collective Geminis the strength in the second half of January to remain strong, trusting that with the Three of Pentacles, people are going to come together. They're going to work on something in relation to money or things of the material like home. And they're going to uh, work with you. So, yeah. There's like, I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting for this beautiful Knight at Nine of Pentacles to develop in my life. And Spirit's saying, trust that it will. There's, hermit energy is kind of like waiting patiently for what spirit wants to bring is what's going to bring this energy not only of fulfillment but of joy and the ability to not fall into one's ego <clears throat> unexpected okay yes and when i flip through the cards like that that's just because i keep seeing the same messages being repeated over and over again all right so i think i'm going to close with a message from the guardian angel deck by doreen virtue Closing message, please, regarding this circle spread for the collective Geminis in the second half of January of 2024. So see, there's a lucky helper of abundance. This could be a spirit guide angels, those who've passed before you. Maybe an earth energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn type energy. But although uh, it's felt like there wasn't enough to do, I feel like things are going to start to speed up very quickly. Um when this unexpected message comes. So Spirit saying it's important to plan and get organized uh, because when the time comes, it's, there's going to be a quick call to action here. Yeah, don't question who you're moving forward with if this is something you are dealing with or putting upon yourself. For this card indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal person who could be like your best friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. Or this is what spirit's giving you, the ability to wait, <clears throat> because eventually an important decision is going to change everything. It's going to create forward movement, traveling into the direction of stability and laying down the battle that got you finally there. Wow. Okay, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I want to say a big thank you to those of you who've already ordered your year of 2024 video readings or who have gifted them to others. Uh, I am still offering now the winter special, which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares and those subscribes. And most importantly, a great big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. If you'd like to donate, I offer two links below. One is PayPal. The other is Cash App. Take care and God bless.